Hey everyone, happy Lunar New Year. News is light this week, but we got some crazy ones. Earlier this week, TI-11 winners Tundra Esports played against into the breach and Oliver Skitter Lepko said he had to pee in a bottle because PGL admins didn't allow them to pause in a long match. Skitter later clarified that according to PGL's rulebook, it states that there's no bathroom breaks during the matches, and he did go before the game. This time, he drank a lot more water and was frustrated in the long match. Quote, Sorry to my fans for sharing the bottle as I was frustrated at the situation. Earlier this week, Team Secret and Strats released an infographic on their recent Battle Pass numbers. The Battle Pass sold over 293 million. The top country is China with 26 million spent. The highest level player was also from China and they had 120.3k Battle Pass levels. Now onto the DPC. China had two series before the Lunar New Year break. Extreme Gaming and Knights moved themselves closer to securing their Lima Major spot. Team Master already qualified. Knights, PSG OGD, and Extreme Gaming are the next hopefuls. A highlight comes between Knights against Aster Ares. Find him. Bushwhack. Ooh. Control. Coil. Good damage. Breaks the coil. Stunned for a long time. But Ulu. Book of Shadows keeps Ooh. him alive. The spear pushes him outside of it, actually. He tried to do the fancy play. The spear and into ult. Bushwhack pulls him back again. They steal. Was that living armor? Alacrity jumps in, Ooh. finds Ulu again, and the stun is there. The overgrowth rapier on the deck. Does have buyback. They retreat away. Lasso, the, lasso. the double lasso, the control, red panda. The ulti is there, but the root to turn it. Do they have enough damage to bring down the rest of them? That rider, the rest are starting to drop. XCJ, he has that overgrowth. And Felix Chaba right on top of him. Dawnbreaker ulti comes through. XCJ gets caught, gets controlled, gets killed. The other fight on the south side, Still continuing as Alacrity tearing through these supports. Ulu, they're they both dead. Ulu. Ulu in trouble. This is going to be a dieback, but the turn. Oh, Ooh. the save, the stun, the heal. It came out in time. And now Ego goes. now trying to get out of there. But the Ancient, they got to keep their eyes on the Ancient. The creeps are starting to take it down. Book of the Dead not being microed. The Ancient is exposed. The pings are there. White Album trying to get back to home to stop this, but yet to keep alive Ulu too. Heals back up. From the Starbreaker, Alacrity right on top. They bought back and got in range. Mars keeping that throne alive, but Ulu, Ulu is gonna get ran down, gonna get killed. The throne was at half HP. Ares, they don't have enough left in the tank. Knights are gonna close this game out as they run on in and take it down. Alacrity, Fallen Sky in the Ancient. At the end of the game, 77 minutes, Knights come out victorious. <laughs> That was amazing. They have to put so much attention for Drow. In Southeast Asia, it's looking grim for Team SMG and Fnatic. Both teams said the bottom with one week left to win their last two series to avoid relegation. Execration and Geekslate are one series away from securing the major spot, while the third final spot can be fought between Blacklist, Bleed Esports, and Talent Esports. A high comes between Execration against Blacklist. Yeah. This morphs huge. What will Blacklist do? We do have one last gobble up. Toss that back. was a pounce. Oh, sorry, that was a toss back. Yeah, they forced the BKB and the Wind Waker is going to see Shakes of Safety. Raven missed. Raven on missed the, the bounce, but he goes back to the high gun and hitting a Lash Rack on the way. We have the Walrus Punch as well for this Lash. Bob, his healing has been reduced, so it's his damage, but he's going to survive this as Paul is back in. They turn Tusk into a pig, and now he'll die for two minutes as Tim's also oh, gets finished no. off. Execration. It's the only Raven. Of two O's. They're going to finish off this game. They're going to win the Filipino Derby. Raven alone versus five he's Paul not is strong enough shining. he's been flattened the ancients being destroyed execration showing the old guard there's a new pinoy team in town yeah. in eastern europe the super team from bet boom leads the way with a 5-0 start hellraisers and team spirit occupy the second and third spot our highlight comes between dark side against team spirit all right quick quick taking down these buildings demon zeal a tv shot <laughs> Good one. I don't get the mega creeps though. I'm trying to leave the, the black dragon there to deal with it. But the catch, the turnaround, lol and mirror. Straight on top of Rebel. Tricks the trade and the smoke screen down from Roger. And Ember Spirit looking to make a bit of space for his squad. But the slow remnant means the catch up from lol is there. Tracks back to kill the Ember Spirit. And now the mega creeps will come. GG is already called by Sineko, it looks like, as they tap out here in game three. Game one was a good victory for Darkseid, but two and three just felt like Spirit were way ahead of the curve. It felt like they just woke up, honestly. It's like yeah. morning game. In Western Europe, Team Liquor keeps on rolling and are still undefeated. 
OG will play against Entity this week and it could determine the final spot for the Lima Major. Team Secret finally got the first win in a series, but they will need to win a series to stay off relegation. This holds true for Enigma Galaxy, who also hasn't won a series yet. Our highlight this week comes between Tundra Esports defeating Team Secret. Anybody go in towards mid, they find the Ricky. And again, a very cathartic kill, I'm sure, but it comes oh, at a big cost. The Sonic Wave, the Ravage. They find the kill on the Ricky, but it costs them so, so much. And immediately, GG is called. Secret, they've had enough. That's a good play, though. You know what? You go out there, you lasso the Ricky, you go out on your terms. I mean, at least you grab someone with you, and especially probably the most annoying hero you played against. But yeah, I think Tundra. In North America, only two teams hasn't lost a series, and that goes to Shopify Rebellion and TSM, which the pair will meet on Saturday, January 28th. Our highlight this week comes between TSM against Nouns. First battle, Gunner will move in. He'll happily frontline as the Viper. Rupture is there. Hex is out as well. Can they follow up? They've got the kisses, but Sunray is going to heal him up just enough to keep him alive, and Gunner's just going to TP away. Bryle. Still trying to look for a way to punish. Oh. Moo, he's going to jump in. He got a last up with the Lotus Orb. It was there in time. Angondis has been procced though. So he's all right. Another rupture being committed now to the Batrider. So maybe they can force the fight. Now, do they want to retreat? Do they want to go in? Tomato, he'll force their move. He'll go on to Moo. He's got the Batrider. Now the Sonic Wave landing on oh all four God. heroes. It's all too much for now. This game is over, I think, John. TSM, they've got three down with that buyback. Make that four. It's only Yamsen left. There's no way to defend this. Surely. No, it's, it's looking pretty difficult. You could try spamming out the illusions, I suppose, but straight for the tier fours they go and... In South America, it's starting to look like a two-horse race between Beast Coast and Evil Geniuses. Both currently sit on top and are hoping to go to the Lima Major. Our highlight this week comes between Evil Geniuses against Key Star. Storm that that morphling, but the, the, terribly was on a completely other side of this fight, and now pulverized on the tusk immediately goes down. But they silenced up the morphling here. Maybe they can get something. It's gonna be the first life, but the rock throw from Whisper actually is holding down Kosable, and Rush I don't know. This terribly is gonna feel vulnerable. They've lost the disruptor here. Stumped through with the storm spirit, but immediately the BKB with the manta. The cause is taking it right to the terrorblade and Kosable. He knows he's gonna back out. Forty on the backside going down as well. They'll first take down the terrorblade and then shift their sights over to Tavo and even the meta from Akaz. He is just so powerful on the morph. Tavo falls, Sea Smile will pick it up and Storm Spirit just barely able to get to his steps and honestly that might not be enough. It's GG, game number three. A hard fought series for both teams but EG will come out on top. They'll keep themselves undefeated in a total series and KD stars, they will drop their second game of SADPC. That's all for this week. Next week we will find out which team will be heading to the Lima Major and prepare for Division 2 action. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good week.